Hello, thank you for joining me. This short practice is going to focus on the transverse arch of the foot. And the transverse arch of the foot, for those of you that do not know, is located from the pinky toe ball of the foot all the way across to the big toe ball of the foot. This is your transverse arch. There's a couple of ways that you can easily set your transverse arch. It forms when you put pressure on it. So it's one of those things where loading it will form that structure of the arch, which will help you be supported as you move through space. To begin, you're gonna come into a hands and knees position. You're gonna start by thinking about reaching the pinky edges of your feet really long. So it's almost like your pinky toes are going to touch the floor. Now you're going to get the sense that you're exposing the balls of your feet as you lift your heels a little bit. And you're like, but I can't go anywhere. Just get the intention. You'll see how all of this works in a moment. You're gonna come back into a down dog position, but the goal with this is to keep the knees a little bit bent. The weight's gonna be back. You're gonna really reach the pinky toes and get the sense that the heels are actively pulling away from the floor. Once you've got that, you're going to bend your knees. As you bend your knees, think about pulling your toes up a little bit. You're like, they can't go anywhere, I know. Just get that action. Take two more. From here, shift your weight forward so your knees are hovering away from the floor. You're gonna reach the pinky toes, keep that sense of the heels pulling up. It's like the backs of the heels are pulling up towards the backs of your knees. You're going to pivot onto the left foot. The left heel comes down. Step your right foot forward. Pause here for a second. Press through the ball of your left foot. Lift up. Heel's going to lift as you do that. So again, you're still thinking about the toes lifting a little bit. As the heel lifts a little bit, take the hand to the floor. Pivot back the other way. Reset the pinky toes if you need to. Active toes, active heels. Pivot onto the right foot. Left foot reaches through. Pause for a second. Press through the ball of the left foot. Your left heel will lift a little bit. Maybe your left toes lift a little bit. Just a little bit, we're talking tiny. And you spin back around. Now from here, you're going to really reach through the pinky toes. Get the sense that the heels are pulling up towards the backs of the knees. Jump your feet forward. So you're in a squat position. Press through your feet. Stand all the way up. Take your feet a little bit closer together. Get the sense that your toes are lifting a little bit as your heels lift a little bit. Keep this action. Keep reaching long through the pinky toes as you sit your butt down. Now, think about the heels reaching even more towards the backs of your knees as your shins drop forward. So you're back in the seated position. Take your hands back to the floor. You're gonna take the feet back, float the knees. Pinky toes reach, toes pull towards the knees. Pivot the left foot. So it's like you're turning the left toes to the left, the right knee comes down. This time you're going to reach the left knee forward, lift the left toes up the tiniest bit, lift the left heel up a little bit as you lift your right hip off the ground. Keep pressing through the small of the right foot. Pivot the knee back. Reach to the pinky toes. Remember the toes are pulling, the heels are pulling. Pivot on the right foot. Oops left knee comes down. Reach the right knee forward, right heel lifts. Nice little arched position. Press through the ball of the right foot. Turn it all back to center. Think about the pinky toes reaching long, pull the heels towards the backs of the knees. Jump forward, squat position, stand up. All right, so it's your short little sequence. You can kind of see how your feet feel after that. 
Give that a try, see how it goes. Thank you.